All right, guys, so the Broncos announced their latest three cuts. We're looking at uh, wide receiver Nathan Palmer, linebacker Danny Mason, and tight end Dan Light. Um, any surprises from this round of cuts for you guys? How long was Dan Light here? Like three seconds? <laughs> he was yeah. a recent waiver oh, claim. Like one day longer than <laughs> Dale Murphy's kid, yeah. who was brought in last week, too. Wow, you got to look, see. Yeah. Wasn't that the guy that said, said, look, Dad, I made the NFL? Or was that somebody else? Well, he made it for like it was that No, it was that kid. Yeah, it was that yeah. kid. Dad, wow. we made the NFL. Yeah. <laughs> Had a cup of coffee and we're gone. Yeah. Uh, no, no, no real surprises. Right. I, I haven't been surprised by anything over the last two days. Have you? I have not. If Monty Ball gets cut, I'll be surprised. Yes, me too. And, or I'll be, my earth will be shaken. How about that? Yeah. What's more surprising to me is what Kubiak told us today, that he might keep up to seven wide receivers. I think they're going to be heavy on wide receivers and linebackers. And it's going to be primarily because of the speed and the aggressiveness of the guys they have at those two positions for special teams purposes. Right. Uh, their special teams have been, can we say, uneven in the preseason. Yeah. yeah. And so I, I, I'm sure Coops maybe, wants it to be good. Maybe the one surprise, Joe Don Duncan. I thought right. he'd get a longer look. Um, but they could also end up putting him on the practice squad. Sounds good. A uh, quick follow-up question. This week, who ne really needs to shine in the uh, Broncos' fourth preseason game to make that final cut? Uh, Monty Ball's the easy answer. Right. But, but – uh, well, and Capri Bibbs, the Bibbs. other running back who's going to get the ball a lot. CSU yeah. connections. Um, and they're line, going to play special teams, Linebacker? Too. Is Lamine Barrow on this team? Well, he's eligible for the practice squad. Okay. And let's keep in mind, he's a draft pick for John Elway. Okay. Who didn't get a lot of playing time last year. So my guess is, he'll if he's not on the 53, he's going to make practice squad. Okay. If you don't Anybody make the else? 50, if you don't, no, if you don't make the 53, you're not on the team for me. If you're on the, if you're a, if you're on the practice squad, I know you get yeah. the money, uh, but it's kind of hard to walk around Lodo and say, yeah, I'm a Bronco. I practice. That kid Laux, uh, the, the little guy who plays wide receiver and returns kicks and punts, um, he's going to have to have a good game for them to, for him to open their right. eyes. Um, but then I think he's eligible for, see the practice squad thing is, well, you get cut though. Right. That's, you do that, get cut. And then they say, we but it's the escape. Right. But we the practice squad thing. It. We still <laughs> right. love you, man. It's the escape hatch for all <laughs> these individuals feelings. and yeah. for all these teams now. You right. can put up to ten guys on the practice squad. So here we are talking about all these cuts that are coming, but ten guys are being brought back after the cut. Okay, yeah. shouldn't if if you have a big practice squad, shouldn't the roster be fifty five or yeah, fifty six? Yeah, you, you know the deal there. Then they have to pay them actual salaries instead of the practice squad <laughs> salary, which is what about six thousand a week? Yeah, something like that. Yeah. I'd be a practice squad guy I for six thousand. I would do that, right? <laughs> you, of course. <laughs> okay, he'd be more one, eligible. One, two, else. three on the practice squad. <laughs> They're looking for defensive. Right? I do burpees all day, day long. Yeah. Over six thousand a week. Some extra bucks, right? <laughs>